Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to stay in the game against massive amounts of chrysalids and other enemies. It's time for Operation Furious Glove and I've made up my mind. Uh, we are still on the Doom Timer as you can see. Uh, only one hour passed. The reason why I want to do it is we currently have two blips um, on this facility. We could get both of the blips and then the um, mission that is, the covered ops mission that is currently running uh, removes another two blips. So if we were unlucky, the two blips that the covered ops mission reduces are actually removing uh, blips from this facility, making our invasion less impactful. I think the B team can uh, do it. Noxus will get a bit of a psychosis uh, over that. So he will need to spend some time in the infirmary. Shit happens. It is what it is. But I think this team actually could, uh, could deliver on it. Uh, it's the B team. I gave them uh, all of the necessary tools. And since we know there is an alien ruler in that facility, we got to be careful. So I got uh, the Shadow Keeper here. We have the axes up on DM's back, so it's a free attack action right there. I take the frost grenade here, as well as uh, the bolt caster. That will hopefully give us enough uh, time to stun the enemy. And I learned out of my mistakes and we're now fielding whenever necessary a uh, um, uh, option to reveal hidden units. I really don't want to fight against chameleons again without the option to have battle scanners around us so that won't happen oh yeah and we got a mimic beacon so pretty much the entire uh, the entire equipment spectrum and that's quite cool because if you think about it what really makes the equipment so unique in XCOM it counters and uh, features a couple of really core mechanics uh, so if you do not have scanning protocol, like we currently don't have in this team, I think uh, the battle scanner is a perfectly viable tool uh, to proceed. All right, let's jump in. Oh yeah, we're going to turn this place into rubble. Uh, just need the X4, uh, uh, C4 charges and then we're good. Oh, it's called X4 here because it's even more explosive than C4. Because Semtec isn't good enough. You want Xanax or whatever it is. Well, that would be a sleeping pill, but uh, yeah, it's the XCOM version of C4. Good. On my way. Let's take a bit of uh, an overview here. No high ground. I do not like that. The only high ground is the facility. Advent has done a great job in placing it in the middle of the desert. Synapse takes full cover over there. Let's do this. And we're getting ready for a nice little front to back fight. Let's hope we're not running into the Berserker Queen or something. Vigilance is such a nasty, nasty dark event. I'll put it onto my list of really horrible dark events. Keeping a solid overwatch here, right? We don't even know what kind of alien ruler we're fighting against. For all I know, it could be something really, really mean spirited. Well, 
We're not going to use our bomb. No, no, no. Questions do we want to hit four as an opener and then accept that we're fighting into cover? On the other hand, all of this cover is not really removable, so it's not that great to begin with. Let's hit this uh, because it will remove all of uh, the removable cover and shred them. Shield bearer would be shredded to only one armor. Good grenade. Very nice grenade. Yeah, let's go with the mind bender first. Sam Synops Walker works through the mind bender. We're not going to go in much deeper. Good hit, I like it. No. Um. Look, I think if we just combat protocol, uh, we should be fine. Newton is by far one of the biggest threats. We'll just need to wait until the combat protocol uh, recharges, but that's okay. Chief Vera. Nope. I got nothing. Would be good to shred him. And the purifier needs to die because if he does not die we're actually going to have a problem we could have reposition right yeah we do have that so to here shoot and then go back into cover reposition helpful ability very helpful Ignoring the shield bearer for a second. DM does what DM knows best. Gets into cover. Okay. And this could stun him. Yeah, he's going to retreat. And will show us where the next pack is located. They're trying to pull back. All right, straight ahead. Fair enough. Tired of waiting around. Hunt them down. Okay, not sure why we wouldn't be able to see him. That's a bit strange. But I think it's a good reason to use our battle scanner. First Andromedon, uh, Heavy Mag, Guardian and so on. Yeah, it's, I'm actually quite happy to not trigger that pack for now. We're going to take the tree. Tired of waiting around. It's killing time. Reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. 
We have braced ourselves with Synapse. So we're actually just going to Overwatch. If they aggro, then they aggro. That's fine. We're going to get at least one shot off. If not, then that's okay as well. They have been here. They're now moving a bit closer. Would be cool if we could re-stealth and then explode that entire portion there. Remote start would be absolutely brutal if we could pull it off. Yeah, we're moving over here. And since it's an on-timed mission, out. I am making sure that we're not triggering anything, but getting a better position. They are right there. I think this will trigger. Tell you what, we're just going to overwatch because we can. We there is no re, uh, no need for us. We can wait for cooldowns to come back. I don't need to rush that. Okay, short break back. So, yeah, you can see they're still there. I think good timing to just figure out what else is back there if they want to create a trap of some sorts. Uh, the answer might be no. Okay, well, okay, well, apparently they haven't moved at all. would be nice but we're not going to go down that route this is my trigger Okay, so let's start with getting both of them shredded. DM moves up. Uh, 
I'm down to one. I hate it when these uh, when that happens. We have a mimic beacon if need to be. And we also need to deal with the Andromedon. Move that over. Could use another grenade. Question is, do we want to do that? I think we're just going with a mimic beacon. Good. That brings us into kill. Overwatch back here with Sane. That's a late protocol defense right there. Isn't exactly sure to kill him. Let's instead shred hit, uh, this guy. You have the power. That'll hopefully distract them a little bit more. Good hit. Fantastic hit. 11 points of damage is incredibly solid for us. And that even costs the turn. Cool. Couldn't, uh, couldn't have fast for more. Very heavy enemies. Yeah, shield bearer is a problem. Always has been a problem. But it's even more a problem now. Let's start with the Mac. Yeah, I should have uh, used this here first. to um, storm forward it's likely not going to work well for us rather ca crowd control them for one more turn
Minus in place. Decent damage. Can't really crit him apparently. We have melee parry here. So let's be the closest target. 18, that's not good enough, but I need the throwing axe for later. If we overwatch, we do have two overwatches thanks to sentinel so i'll just do that explosion yep okay Very nice. Couldn't have asked for more. We're green to go. Synapse, come on. Mm. Close. But not quite. Let's move already. Moves up. We're not using too many of our cooldowns. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see what this here is going to lead to. Good hit. Absolutely good hit. Down to three hit points and that should be a kill. <laughs> Ooh, the infector is down. Down with the witch. Yeah, we're just going to overwatch here. Haven't yet met the alien ruler. Ready to engage. Finally. Which deeply worries me. Could be the Berserker Queen, and we all know how she is. Here I come. So we don't want to cluster up. I hope it's worth it. Good to go. Instead, we're reloading. We need our cooldowns back. The pack size, by the way, is horribly overpowered. Like, the packs are now consisting out of five to six. That is two and a half X. Uh, a little bit more than two X now. And it really shows because uh, single pack feels always like you're fighting against two but i guess it's a good showcase how to how to go about dealing with multiple packs if you ever find yourself in uh, such a situation i for once uh, continuously find myself in such situations by pushing the limits of the game
Yeah, the game wants us to think that everything is safe and secure, but I was not born yesterday. I know better than to believe XCOM. Because the moment that I think everything is okay, we're going to see, haha, Berserker Queen. JK, JK, you are effed. Um, yeah, slowly but surely moving up. I think that's not a bad idea. Okay, well, not the Berserker Queen I was expecting, but these guys and... Oh, you can see her standing right there. She was standing right there. Yep. Stupid little Berserker Queen. You can already see how this is going. This might actually explode the entire generator. Well, it didn't explode the entire generator, but... Certainly had an impact. crazy part about All right, the Berserker Queen is she comes nicely equipped with a couple of Berserkers that will love nothing more than to join her. Just a little I think we're okay here. May need a tiny bit of repositioning just so that when the Berserker Queen comes in, we're not going to uh, be treated by an AoE stun. 14 hit points, super heavy turret. Let's move slightly back. Yeah, back there she's standing. Okay, might as well start with that here. Frontline gates some aid protocol. There's one more drone, a healing drone, so if we could get that. Healing drone, I think, is now moving to the super heavy turret over here. Thanks to blue screen rounds, not a problem. At least not one that we couldn't solve. Since we know she's there, 
I don't want to overwatch with our bolt caster. Let's do this. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Okay, that's a good start. Is it clear? Noxus can take that front line here. And how about we're generally moving up just a tiny bit. Got it covered. Let's move already. Overwatch. Come get some. Moving to Overwatch. Yeah, we're hunkering down no Overwatch uh, with that gun. Okay, pretty sure this is a turret. What's over there? Uh, we could try to get in there from this side. Uh, trying to keep Synapse out of direct line of uh, sight so that when the Berserker comes up he can take a shot for free before she engages in melee combat. We could hack the turret, maybe that would be an option, but there is also the very realistic option that I'm just going in and planting the C4 and we're getting the hell out of here before anything happens. It's actually not so far-fetched uh, than you might think. Or at least we buy us the time or the option to just get out of here instead of being forced to fight the Berserker Queen. We know what the main target is, right? It's the Berserk Queen. She needs to come a bit closer. Um, well, I'm actually going to try to remove some armor.
All right, Overwatch here. Yeah, we're ignoring those two tryhards. Overwatch as she uh, as she is coming in. Hmm. Too little damage. Yeah, but we need to do that in order to progress her to move further. She's potentially now going to... ...start hitting. for two turns this will be one turn just to reposition I didn't want the, uh, exactly that to happen but unfortunately she is just not leaving any choices here those two double move a couple of hits Wow, what kind of movement radius does he have? So that's a free reload without a reaction from her. Very valuable. Finally shredded her. Okay. Yeah, no, we don't want that. Let's stun her. Good. Very good. good to go. Free reload. Good. Moving into full cover. Also good. Maximum damage. Also good. This should not trigger. Ah, they have changed it. Some of the range attacks trigger. Okay, this potentially should force her to retreat. Ah, maybe not enough, barely. Summoning a portal. That's nah, okay. Go ahead. F off.
Okay, biggest problem will be the advanced striker here. That striker is a problem, like I mentioned. I'm trying to get him down before we're leaving. Okay, because he has the in the CPQ uh, zone an automatic. Um, reaction shot and we don't want that to happen That is messed up. Comet protocol to get the drone maybe out of the way. And then evac. Hmm, huh. well, disorientation removed, but we don't have an option to to get out of here. And Synapse will likely not be able to... Hmm. That would be a death sentence. Purifier is not the biggest problem. Go to here. I was thinking about Shadowfall so that we could actually stay hidden. Hmm. Okay, we need to evac. I think this here is the best potential spot, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Can't change it. Can't be burning more than burning. Quick hands would be cool, but we don't have that. Only thing that we do have is sprinting. And let's hope that this is going to be okay. Oh yeah, Sam! 
Big brain move. Oh yeah. See you later, suckers. Ooh, what a close call. If you are using run, um, the Overwatch will have even more penalty. So that was a good chance that they would all miss. Yeah, Sam Walker, the hero of the masses. Good job, man. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will Dark Tower Noxus gets Fear of Vipers. Project, and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. Good. Well, close. Very close. Let's get some more intel. That was so close. Cri very crisp. An all overall good mission. And oh my gosh, we're having a new couple of missions. This here would suck. Extra loot crates, but more enemies in order to offset that. I don't mind about that and protect the device not going to happen. Sabotage transmitter is a not so good mission. Um, and all of them are very difficult. This is even ultra difficult. It just says difficult, but protect the device is ultra difficult. Yeah, well... Great. I suppose if that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Cool, so... Listen. This here wouldn't be bad. Dodge plus 5. Fantastic. But Dodge plus 10 is even more fantastic. I think we had another good one here. Aim plus 4. It's always a welcome option. Dodge plus 7. Health is also good. Um, I mean, these next missions, we can't even go on to them because uh, we're tired. These guys are tired, so Prime Team is, is off. Uh, we even have a Reaper. Okay, sure. Why not? Um, that would be the second Stronghold Infiltration. Kind of playing a bit greedy here, because the Prime Team uh, could be used on other missions. But the extra health goes a long way. Or even put it more onto Taurus uh, than onto Zukuger. Kind of the other way around, but we need a major in order to start the mission. And every other major is tired. Hmm, maybe it's not the right call. We're not in, in danger at the moment. Dodge plus seven, on the other hand. We could use that. Taurus also needs movement, but he, he, we're already good at dodging. So 
So this wouldn't be bad either. Nine days for for aim. Nine days for health and ability points, which is good. Yeah, we already ruled that one out. Ten days for resistance order. And dodge. We could also do this and get them to level 3 bond. Plus give Sukugur a promotion to Major. Hmm. Which then would qualify him to work with Sydney on the other mission. And it's also only 6 days. Seven, because we need to put a scientist on it. What's Johnny Bravo's um, combat intelligence is a good question. Is he already smart? Standard. Okay, well that would give him extra points. That's almost a three for one. We would get extra points for him. We would get a promotion. And yeah, it's increased combat intelligence. I talked myself into bond uh, for whatever reason, but it's not bad. I mean, the promotion in this together for seven days is actually okay. Aim plus four isn't bad either. Resistance order dodge plus five for nine days. This is six days. Mobility plus one isn't that important at the moment. Health is really the way to go because we are nearing the territory where the main team is getting one shot. Mm. I still think the promotion is the right uh, call here. Give him that. And that, and we're good. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. Okay, I'll figure out what we're going to do with the other missions, and um, that will happen in the next run. Thank you for watching. As always, um, try uh, to go to the shooting range and practice some aiming. That way, you can hit the like button a bit more accurate. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.